And this uh, particular story, uh, this is a time when the Buddha to be in the past life, uh, he was a carriage maker. Uh, he made carriages. Uh, now uh, he was a very good carriage maker, and he was a carriage maker for the for the king at that time, uh, wherever that was. Uh, and one day the king came to him and said, "I'm going into a battle soon. Uh, I need a new pair of wheels for my carriage." Uh, can you make the, that pair of wheels uh, within the next six months? And uh, uh, this Buddha-to-be uh, in the future life, uh, he said, Yes, Your Majesty, uh, I can make you a new pair of wheels in six months. Uh, that is no problem. Uh, then he set out, uh, finding wood, doing all the work that is required to make these wheels. Uh, and after five and a half months, uh, he had six months altogether, right? So after five and a half months, uh, the king comes back to him and says, well, on my, how are you going with my wheels? And the Buddha-to-be says, I have made one wheel for you, your majesty. And then the king says, king obviously getting a bit concerned, he's only made one wheel in five and a half months, he's only got two weeks to go before his battle. Are you able to make another wheel in the remaining two weeks? And the Buddha-to-be says, yes, I can make another wheel in the, uh, another two weeks. Then after the other Two weeks, the last two weeks are passed, uh, he finishes the second wheel, uh, he brings, brings them to the king and says, Here, your majesty, here are the two new wheels for your carriage. Uh, and the king is a bit puzzled, uh, so he asks uh, this man, this Buddha to be, he says to him, How come, why is it uh, that one of the wheels took five and a half months to make uh, and the other one took two weeks to make? Uh, what is the difference? Uh, what is the significance in this difference in time span? Uh, and then the Buddha takes the wheel one at a time and he sets them rolling. Now the wheel that took only two weeks to make, he rolls it out and when the force behind that movement stops, the wheel wobbles and it falls down to the ground. Then he takes the second wheel that took five and a half months to make, he rolls it out and when it comes to an end, it stands upright. It doesn't wobble, it doesn't fall down. And then uh, of course, the king asks him, well, how come that one wheel falls down, one doesn't? They look exactly the same to me. Uh, and the Bodhisattva says, uh, not, well, the Bodhisattva, I don't actually like, was going to use that word. The Buddha-to-be says uh, that uh, the difference is uh, that one of the wheels, the wood has been straightened out, perfected to perfection. Uh, there's, no, uh, uh, there's no faults or flaws in that wood whatsoever. It has been perfected, and that's why uh, it stands upright when it comes uh, to the end uh, of its movement. And that is a story. That's all there is to that story here. And the Buddha uses that story to explain something else to the monks, which are not really relevant for, for the present. So here you see uh, uh, the purpose why I'm telling this story uh, is simply to show you how humble the Buddha was in a past life. He was a carriage maker. A carriage maker is one of the very lowest professions that you can have at the Buddha's time. Uh, it was at the very bottom of the caste system. And here is the Buddha himself being a carriage maker. In other words, he is just one human being among other human beings. He's no different from us. He's not a king or a great emperor or a great warrior or some, some kind of person with superhuman feats or anything like that. He's an ordinary, very, very ordinary person.